A very, very good morning and welcome along to Ayrshire World right down here at uh, RAF Mildenhall. And you just join us in time because uh, we've got a KC-10 just about to uh, take off. It's uh, lining up on the runway right now. Looking a bit fuzzy because of all the heat haze. Hey, we're not complaining about heat haze, I tell you. After the weather we've had just recently, it's been absolutely, as we know, spoke about it many times on the live show, how dreadful it's been. But um, looks like we're going to get a little bit of action and hopefully, I think we've got a quid in the circuit uh, as well. So uh, certainly do the bit of sharing and it's great to have your company. Thank you very much. <laughs> David Bowie is okay. That's good. That is always good to hear, isn't he, eh? Right, let's have a look what we're going to do for you. This is going to take off right now. Well, that's a pretty good way to uh, start off um, your morning right here at uh, Mildenhall and into the blue skies as well. That's your KC-10. What a monster airplane. Love that. It's been here for a few days and uh, now finally departed. But there's another one. For, your, for the eagle-eyed of you, you probably noticed as we were panning around that uh, we saw another one down there. I don't know whether that will be uh, moving a little bit uh, later. Let's have a look. There we go. So we've got that other one just there. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me this morning. And uh, tell you what, while I'm waiting for uh, Quid to come into the circuit... I hope <laughs> we will find out. But um, let's see who's in the uh, chat room um, this morning. Who have we got? We've got Richard5030, Mike B saying, Hi, Stu. And the other uh, Mike B says, Good morning, Stu Bear. Yep, that's who you is, Stu Bear in the chair. And also my good mate, and thank you for that donation yesterday, Barry. Yep, the um, bounty bars, they will be on the way very soon later today. Probably nip around the shop. <laughs> Thank you, Barry. And um, we've got Greg Mottram and um, Fallen, Falcon Drift Gaming and Cars. We've got Neil Hubbard. Sebastian. Hi, Sebastian. Good morning, Julie and Stu. He says Neil Hubbard's with us. D uh, DBM. Andy Appleyard. Hi, Andy. Colin Hill, Chris is with us, Dickie McVitie, John Lawson, Lee Horton. You bet your bottom dollar, Sebastian, well done. He says, this morning I saw a Boeing C-40A clipper flying just above me as she came from Mildenhall. Yep, and um, I'll tell you in a short while, I'll do a replay of that for you. And also some stuff that... Um, I filmed when we were off air last night. 
And I mean, at night, into the dark, ospreys and all of that with a green glow. It's all right, it's a car starting. I thought it was an aeroplane coming in. Um, so we'll show that in a short while. Who else have we got? Um, the messages are jumping about as they normally do. So apologies if I do miss any. In fact, they've just disappeared off my screen. But um, I'll get back to you. I think I was just going to say hi to Sue Lawson. I think um, that was the one that uh, popped up. Anyway, let's get back to it in a moment. As you can see, it's blue skies here at uh, Mildon Hall. It was a bit cool last night, but hey, why not? Don't complain about the weather. The sun is out and that's all that matters. Any second. Come on, let's see this chat room. Here we go. We're back with it. Right. Where the heck was I? We were with... Um, ah, yes. Sue Lawson. There she is. And then we've got Lee Horton. Chaz Gisby. GB Model Zone. JD Fisher. Chris. And good morning from Jim Gemmell from a rather damp Scotland. <laughs> it's all right, I'm not grinning. <laughs> no, I'm not. You had good weather last week when <laughs> we had it awful over the weekend. Makes a change, doesn't it, eh? Simon Holt. Hiya, Simon. Good to see you. Photo for you. And as I said, pretty soon. Hey, well, I don't know, but uh, it did say that Quid was in the circuit. That's a KC135. But uh, I'll have a look at the uh, chat room in just a moment. Send a couple of messages out there. You can hear me typing away. Click, click, click. All right, what, what are we up to anyway? For anybody just joining us, um, we're right here down at um, RF Mildenhall in um, sunny... Suffolk, which is great to be able to say that. Mike B says, any news about that AN225 going to Bryce Norton? I've no idea. Absolutely no idea. Let's have a look. Uh, so Chris is giving him the um, answer. Oh, uh, yes, if you get to see it. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, bit of good news because quid that's in the circuit is going to use um, an approach to 1-1. One, one. You'll probably do 1-1 one, one and then do it high fly over. Now let's have a look, see what we're up to. Right, I will try to get this in just a moment. Yes, it is. It's doing its usual. There we go. So 1-0, circle 2-8. I think that's what they call it. Before I get completely knotted up, just excuse me for a moment. Let's point it the other way. There we go, gotcha. And 
how many times today am I going to say uh, runway 11? I bet your bottom dollar I do. There we go as it hides behind the fence for a moment. We'll probably pick it up again in a second. And why do I say how many times am I going to say 11 or 29? Because the runway orientation changed just a couple of weeks ago. You're over there, are you? Okay, we'll, we'll find you, don't you worry. Let's zoom right in, get rid of the fence, and uh, there we have it. And it'll be disappearing behind those trees in just a moment. And with that gear down, I would have thought he'll be uh, coming through to do a um, touch and go very very soon I will uh, keep the camera ready keep it on that KC10 for the moment and uh, then as soon as he uh, comes to finals we'll move it around so there we go you've noticed different runway from um, yesterday when they were using 1-0 we've got somebody from sunny Boston in the UK that's Lee S Colin Hill and Chris who else is there let's drop that down DJ Wolf is with us good day to you William Jim Gemmel Mike B and Julie of course Jane is saying hello good morning to you Jane nice to see you joining us here on yeah with Stu Bear and Julie way up there. We've got Colin Hill, quid on finals, thank you very much. Yeah, weather doesn't look too bad up there, says photo for you. The weather's gorgeous, my boy. Absolutely beautiful, sunbathing weather today. It really is, when the sun's out, it doesn't have to be particularly warm because the strength of the sun at this time of year. But, uh, I think it's going to be about 21 degrees, so they say today, so that'll, that'll do. That'll do for me, boy. Okay, here we go. As always, I shall go very quiet as this, um, as soon as we hear the aircraft. Meanwhile, don't forget that 15% off voucher you can get with your tea and coffee with the Kent and Sussex Tea and Coffee Company. And that voucher code is Airshow, all uppercase, one word, Airshow. And for the link for that, what you've got to do under the video right now, you should see a link that will take you straight to them. Get those orders in. Anyway, let's get back to business. And at this point, as I'm sure you can tell, the uh, darker looking blue sky, because uh, the sun is now behind me, but when we're taking the approach shots, because they're using runway 28, um, just makes it um, 
look a little bit more silo silhouettes I'm not going to burst into song honestly and of course with all the heat haze makes it just look as if it is slightly out of focus but um, it's not it's absolutely spot on it's um, let's see you can see all that heat haze so it's a combination of the heat haze and also the fact that um, we're taking towards the sun but at this time of year the sun's lovely and high so what I'm going to do just while we're um, because it looks like he's going for a wider circuit this time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a quick replay of a couple of things from last night remember it's direct off the camera so it's uh, warts and all um, you're going to see a few mistakes and all the rest. Um, but it'll show you what happened last night. And also you'll get to see that um, 737 clipper that took off. Okay. Well, I say 737. That's to make it easy. It's um, known as a, a C-40. I think it's C-40A. And uh, the Navy's C-40A clipper. I think that's what they call it. So you'll get to see that. And some videos from last night. Fingers crossed, wind in the right direction. Hardly oh, any wind today. Here we go. Stay with us. I'll be back in um, probably what, two, three minutes? Stay with us. Stay with the bear. Get that tea ordered.
there you have it. A quick replay of um, a few things that we uh, missed last night. And also, you saw, as promised, that um, C40A Clipper 737, whatever you want to call it, okay? Great aircraft. And uh, hey, I've got a real special announcement to make right now. You know, it's wonderful uh, to say things like this because um, we've got our very own Alison Tidy. Alison, how the devil are you? Wonderful. Now, Alison, let me tell you about Alison. She's a big supporter of um, Asia World. She is um, always in the chat room and it's a birthday. So now I don't do this for anybody, Alison. OK, so um, you're highly honoured on this one. So um, you ready for it? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alison. Have a great day today, Alison. Happy birthday to you. All right. And uh, I hope you got my message as well this morning. I sent her a message and it probably went ping. Probably woke her up because I think it was quite early. But have a great day today, Alison. And um, you take care of yourself. And um, if you've got the beautiful sunshine that we have, get out and enjoy the sunshine as well. So have a have a great day today and mean that most sincerely. Have a good day. Who wants to we got? We've got Jake Jackson. We've got Jazzy. How the Jazzy? How the devil are you today, mate? He's over there in uh, Canada. Careful of those fingers. Okay. <laughs> I always say that now because ever since he sent um, this video through of him uh, chopping those onions or whatever it does, making those sandwiches in that very posh hotel. Leslie, hello Leslie. Leslie Scarborough. Now, is that your real surname or is it because you're actually in Scarborough? But wherever you are, says morning Stu, they look great against that lovely sunset. I hope you like those sunset shots. Um, we only had a few bits and bobs last night so it wasn't worth actually uh, going live for those but um, you know the bear, he'll record it for you. And uh, we certainly did. And that's one of the last shots um, that was from the dark. I hope you noticed that amazing green glow from the uh, CV-22. That was really spectacular. Could have looked even better if I'd have got my finger out a bit, bit quicker. But um, he was on the runway for quite a while and I just got it as it was going, but Wow, it looked amazing. What can we see? It's it's quid. Was it quid 62? I can't remember. But anyway, it's a KC135. Let's go quiet so you can see and hear. It's coming into sound now. high and round it goes looks like it's staying in the circuit so keep it up let's have a look see how the Ospreys are today and if you're expecting um, some nature videos, uh, no, I mean um, Osprey aeroplanes. We mentioned Jake Jackson. I can't remember. Hello, Jake. Anyway, Mike B. Thank you, um, Leslie. Okay, Leslie Scarborough. Well, Leslie, wherever you are, I hope the sun's shining on you today. Daryl Gray, good morning to Daryl. Isha Kennedy.
Pop, pop. <laughs> Ian Stewart. Hi, Ian. Jim Gemmel. Anybody else we can say hello to? Oh, we got um, Adrian. Thank you very much for putting the message in. And uh, whereabouts are you then, Adrian? He's saying it's cloudy. Bit of wee bit of sun. Ah, that gives it away. I bet you're in Scotland, aren't you? With a wee bit of sun. In Stuart. Sun is out there in Costa del Luton. Ah, that's Ian. Yeah, you have to worsen that fine rain, eh? So that's Isha. Thank you, Isha. Night Stalker F-16s playing with typhoons off the north, off the Norfolk coast. Thank you very much for letting us know that. It's all good stuff, isn't it, eh? Right, time to move that camera again because we're going to see this um, KC-135 doing what it does. Well, I'll listen. I'm pleased. This, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm pleased for your birthday. The sun is shining down on you. It's saying it's beautiful hot and hot here in Wiltshire. And do you know what? I think I'm heading down that way in um, about eight days. Eight days time. As you can see, it looks out of focus, but I'm sure it's not. It's all that heat haze. And if these um, skies stay like this all day, you never know if there's some flying tonight going into the sunset. Of course, I will um, do a live show for you so you can uh, see that. But um, even if there's not much going on, I'll do what I did uh, last night so you can get to see those beautiful, beautiful sunsets. Um, the time when I took those shots that you saw just a little bit earlier, especially of the Osprey going through, I actually filmed those, um, as you could probably tell, it was probably around about 45 minutes after the sun had gone down. What I'm really looking for is to get some beautiful shots with the sun just about to set. Now that, they are the shots definitely after. Chris Hall says, what does he say? The Nook is awesome. Went there um, the first time a few weeks back. And a new trek. Yes, they've got the, this trek. Um, this is just a temporary fixture, that one there. Because it's not very high. Um, but the other one, which um, was a little bit rotten, that is being repaired and that will be back um, in the very near future. Steve is uh, currently at night working on that. If I do a nighttime show anytime and you hear any banging or drilling or anything, do you remember a few um, about six weeks ago in April when I was here? Very handy man is our Steve, and um, he's, um, he's repairing that. 
and doing lots of other bits and bobs about the place. And a good morning to X base one C underscore K one D. That's um, quite a mouthful. <laughs> good to see you, mate. And uh, thank you for uh, joining us this morning. Because uh, where are we? We're over at um, RF Mildenhall. And just seeing a few... Um, well, it's a KC135 that's um, in the circuit at the moment. It's doing another closed circuit, so we'll, um, you'll get to see that again in a moment. Um, but throughout the day, what I'll be doing, I'll be uh, going on and off throughout the whole day. So if you've just popped along to um, Airshow World, don't, um, don't forget, um, subscribing is and hitting the bell icon so that you know when we go live. That is certainly going to help if you like that sort of thing you know if you like the aeroplanes and uh, you're doing nothing else and just you want to chill out and you want to have a chat in the chat room because um, hey we talk about any old thing in the chat room you know it doesn't have to be about aeroplanes you talk about what you want the most important thing i will always say is always make sure it's respectful to everybody never never upset anybody that's my motto if you haven't got anything nice to say hey don't say anything so always, always be nice in the chat room and uh, you will be more than welcome. Just like everybody in the chat room now. We love you all. Thank you. Robert Vickers says, hello from Texas. So it must be early morning over there in Texas. Let's think. What, is it, what would it be? About seven o'clock in the morning? And I uh, hope you have a great, great day. And uh, thank you for joining us. Don't forget, subscribe, Esha World, thumbs up and all the rest of it. And it's always absolutely free to be able to watch Airshow World. Jane, hello, um, Jane. Warm Midsummer's Day from Finland. Oh, it's home of the Fighter Squadron 11 and Santa Claus. <laughs> okay. And they've just had an exercise over there. East 21 with 70 planes, but it's now over. Well, fabulous. You obviously like your aeroplanes. That is a noisy one, isn't it, eh? That's a... Uh... Was that, it was a Mini, <laughs> believe it or not. Let's have a look. On the approach any second, as soon as the bear can find it for you. Oh, there you are. Right, should be in the middle. And of course, you'll see lots of heat haze, as we've mentioned several times this morning. Well, Dickie McVitie, hey, well, if you're down, um, say hello. I'll, I will still be here tomorrow. Uh, I'm making my way back on Friday morning, back to um, East Midlands Airport. I'll be back there and hopefully I'll do a couple of live shows for you next um, next week sometime. But if you come over, Dickie, have a good time. Bring some biscuits. I'm running out of biscuits fast. Got to get some more lotus eaters. Why are we being honoured so long with this um, KC-135 Corsine Quid? I'll tell you in just a minute. It's 
to move the camera back around or else we'll get all twisted up and uh, hopefully we'll pick it up as it um, starts turning around. There we go. But it's an opportunity for you to see what it's like down here, down at uh, John's Field. My favourite place. Love it here. And uh, you can come down for the day. It's uh, £1.50. So when you come down here, there's a little um, pay box. So you put your £1.50 in there. And so make sure you've got some change. If you come along and uh, you suddenly find out you haven't got any change or anything, there's um, a post office just um, around about, what, less than quarter of a mile away. So pop over and see Steve and Sarah at the post office. Get yourself stocked up with drinks for the day and uh, you'll be able to get some uh, that all-important £1.50. Because I tell you what, I am um, always... <laughs> these days, I don't tend to go around with any cash. As well as that, there is also a, uh, just a mo. Yeah, as well as all of that, there's a campsite down here. And that's where the bear is staying. Now, somewhere over there, we have that KC135, a little bit further around. All right, you're just there, are you, you little devil? It's way in the distance, anyway. Right, you're there. Okay, thank you very much. It's going to hide behind the tree in just a moment. I'll keep it going through because you're going to clear that. They've cut down some of those trees. I believe BT did it the um, other week, but they stopped. <laughs> See all the cables? They stopped where the cable. Imagine doing that because those conifers, the cables went straight through. Okay, well, um, point the camera in that direction a little bit later when it uh, comes on the approach looks like a friend of mine just turned up thank you bandit 99 says lager 396 appears to be heading to uh, Mildenhall yeah I think they probably went up early this morning when I was um fast asleep you know gosh yeah i had a bit of a bit of a line for a change uh, today there's the man himself hey my boy how are you doing how are you yeah i'm very good thanks you put a message in the other day didn't you i didn't i didn't get round was it to you it. I went on the site, I nearly did. It, it was somebody else. It was somebody else. It was I did somebody think else. about it. I was going to say that Chris and Dylan says hi. Me and Rose uh, did something. Chris. Did you and Rose do it? Yeah, yeah somebody did. Yeah. yeah. Me and Rose did it. That was him and his sister done it. Ah, uh, gotcha. You're hey. still here then. You're glad. Yeah, finished. we're live right now. Fantastic. Ooh. Come on, re remind, remind me of the names. Chris. And Dylan. Dylan. Chris and Dylan. There we go. Say hi, guys. Hello, guys. Now... I didn't notice this. Do you know when I put a video out, um, what uh, YouTube does, it automatically goes through and it picks an icon that it looks, that it likes. Yeah, so a little thumbnail. Yeah. The, uh, when you were down here the other day, guess what it's picked? You two on the trailer like this looking oh, over. Fantastic. Have a look, you'll see yourselves. <laughs> you, you're like this. It's going. <laughs> That's Chris and Dylan. Brilliant. It's good to see you again. It's great to see you. And you've brought the sunshine well, with you absolutely. again. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Cer it's certainly changed, didn't it, last it week? It did. Have you been down Lake and Heath? No, this morning? Come straight here. You come straight down. A friend of mine, he may turn up here later. He may have yeah. been at Lake and Heath for a bit. Ah, right. Well, it's, um, it's gone quiet over there at the moment, but um, it, was, um, it was busy earlier this morning. Is it Lake and Heath or here? Lake and Heath, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Was, uh, look, so the guys in the chat room telling me um, that um, there's some lager on the way, but uh, not right. um, not in cans. <laughs> You're on the monster. monster. He's on that monster over there. I know. That's uh, Dylan. So that's Dylan and Chris. Good to see you guys. And you. Right, let's have a look, see what. To... So if you have a look on the first page of Airshow World, gang, <laughs> when you see the picture of these two guys, that have by the trailer, looking this way. <laughs> that was them.
Ah, yes, Julie, that's right. Yeah, talking about trees. Trees! It was done quite a few weeks ago, but yeah, long story. I'll tell you some time. Okay, before Chris and Dylan just turned up, I was going to tell you. Right, so why is um, that KC135 doing so many circuits today? I'll tell you. Or at least this is what I could um, glean from what a few people were telling me. Originally, it was um, taking off um, quite early this morning. But um, don't quote me on this. This is, just, this is just between you and me. Okay, nobody else listens. And um, I believe it uh, had a bit of an issue, so they were fixing that. So it was too late to go to do it um, what it would normally be doing, uh, refueling the aircraft. And um, so the aircraft that it was going to be refueling, I believe they cancelled. But they said, hey, go up and um, stay in this circuit. And uh, I'm certainly glad it is. I believe that's what it's all about, but don't quote me on that one. It's probably absolute uh, nonsense. <laughs> it's only what I was told, you see. Right. While we're waiting for that, we will go back into the chat room. Let's see if I can um, get that up and running again. It always disappears when I've not seen it for a while. But who have we got? Everybody saying hi to um, our very own good Alison. Saying happy birthday, happy birthday. Lots of people. Told you, real friendly lot down here um, in the chat room. Just like, um, hey, when it was my birthday, I couldn't believe how thoughtful everybody was. Logger, 218, just uh, got his feet wet. Okay, off the Dutch coast. Oh, is that another one? Yes, it is. That's a different cold sign. Okay. So there's another one heading our way as well. Hi, Stu. We're at the Willows. Hey, hey. Hey, my man, Oliver. Let's have a look for Oliver. Um, I think I'm too low down to be able to see Oliver. But Oliver, if you're on that platform, right, let's see how far... Okay, Oliver, if you're on the platform right now, right, I'm going to attempt, right, oh, get this tripod right, because uh, I'm very close to this fence. Right, let's have a look. Somewhere over there, there's some flags waving. We'll probably get Oliver waving as well if we can see it. Let's uh, have a look. Um, somewhere. So we've got that little bit further that way I think here we go right and what I'm going to do is alter the focus so we can see him hey so no doubt that he's looking at his phone so come on Oliver give us a wave that's got to be Oliver just there I'll keep it there just for a moment there he is he's waving good lad there we go. Hey, and um, are you with somebody as well? It looks like they're just being obscured by the post. <laughs> See that post is going down. <laughs> just being obscured. There we go. Waving for all is worth. Oliver, it's fantastic to see you, mate. And uh, there you go. Giving everybody a good old wave. Wonderful. There you go. Shall I keep it there all day? So he really, <laughs> he weighs his arms out. Oliver, have a f oh, there's his mate. Okay, okay. Which one's Oliver? So there's, uh, he's just moved to the other side. There's his egg. So, now which one's Oliver? The one in the uh, dark jacket or the one, sorry, the dark t-shirt or the light t-shirt with a hat? There we go. But um, they're a good way off and I've had to zoom right in and uh, there we go. Anyway, that's those guys. Have a great day, chaps, over there. Let's try to get the, because uh, it it's a good way off that is. So I had to uh, go into a silly focus mode where it, uh, 
is just too much. But that's a good thing because uh, it doesn't, uh, I never know. Because I didn't ask him if I could take his um, video, you see, but uh, he's far enough away so you can't see his face and uh, yeah, all of that. Because I always try to ask the people's permissions first, but when Chris turned up just here, he was on the other day. In fact, as I say, he's one of the um, thumbnails on one of the videos. He's in the white hat, so that's Oliver. And um, he's with his dad. So that was his dad that he's with. Well, you're gonna get a great view, I'm absolutely sure, from where you are. And uh, they came down, um, I think it was last night, he was saying, and, um, oh yes, it was, because he was watching when he was at uh, Cambridge, and then he was coming further down. So no doubt, you got to see the Ospreys last night. Here we go. And that is literally going over, right over the top of Oliver right now. <laughs> I bet you're getting some great head-on shots though, Oliver and um, his dad. And don't forget, uh, you can um, you can always post some of your photographs if that's what you're doing uh, on the um, Asia World Facebook group. And for anybody else that doesn't know about it, what's it called? It's called Asia World Fan Page, and it's a sort of, it's a group where you can put photographs and all sorts of stuff. Let's have a look. Um, or is it a wheelie bin, Julie says. Okay, are they working on that V22? Let's have a look. See, it just, <laughs> or is it a wheelie bin? There we go. I say we are, I am very limited as to how far we can if I zoom too far in, especially with the heat haze that we've got today, it's uh, not so good. I think that's about the limit before it gets a little bit silly. Oh, that's interesting as well. Ian Stewart says, yeah, runway, Lut um, Luton. That's also changed uh, da -da -da -da, from 26 slash 08 to 2507. Who's talking about food? Someone mentioned bacon, I think. We've got Michaela. Hiya, Michaela. Saying morning all. Good morning to Michaela. See, Michaela, I've got my glasses on today. Andrew Austin says, Phew, please, the weather's improved. Jake Jackson, oh yeah, his, his comment, back with bacon, all right, do you know, I've had no breakfast, nothing. I had a carrot, does that count, does a carrot count as breakfast? Well, it's supposed to help you see in the dark. Woodbridge is where Lager 396 is now passing and it's 6,000 feet. So I'm not sure how long ago that message came in, but um, we will keep a close eye on that for you. Darren M, he says, how long has runway 29 been called 28 and why? Yeah, well, we went into depth um, on this uh, the other Monday, the reasons why but basically it's all to do with the um, magnetic um, you know the earth's crust as you know is uh, magnetic and that's what makes all your compasses work and what have you and it's changing all of the time only very very slightly but it just keeps changing so that's basically why every now and again ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> nice one, Steve. Oh, that is brilliant. You know, Steve, many congratulations um, to you and your wife with your, um, is it a little girl or boy? But um, starting them young, she just sent me a picture. And um, his newborn is uh, watching Airshow World. They all watch Airshow World. Thank you very, very much. Hey, well, if she's as keen on aeroplanes as your older daughter, you won't go far wrong. That's, um, yeah, your oldest daughter, that's Chloe, isn't it? Yeah, and she loves aeroplanes. And uh, for regular viewers of Airshow World, you may remember that um, I was showing the Red Arrows from Duxford a few uh, months ago. And uh, she was on holiday from school. She loved it so much. She uh, painted this fantastic picture. And uh, I was really quite touched by that. So thank you, Steve. And uh, of course, I had to show it. And we certainly did. Oh, it's a little girl. Absolutely fantastic. Two little girls. Hey, they'll break your heart, mate. I'm telling you, they'll break your heart. <laughs> I've got two girls. And um, yes. Young Sadie, she's still at home doing all her hard college work. But um, as you, we've uh, mentioned Heather a few times and you've all seen Heather's work as well, her photographs. And quite often she's on the um, TV as well, leading those crazy horses round at the race meetings. Can you hear in the background? That's probably F-15s taking off. Well, it's something loud. You never know, it might be F-35s. They've still got F-35s, I believe, over there. But they're going up. And um, for anybody down at Lake and Heath, you'll be having a real treat. In the chat room as well, we've got JR. And on the approach right now, we have quid. I think it's quid, or is it lager? We'll have a look. I won't be able to tell, but uh, unless it calls up on somebody's radio, there's several people around with radios and stuff. Let's have a look. I'm going to have a guess that it's lager lager. Let's see. That was a good, uh, that was a good gamble, wasn't it? Then, that was. Um, we're pretty sure that's lager. A big time, as you can see, with the heat haze today.
But if you like your tankers, you're um, getting quite a treat today. Let's have a look where, um, okay, there's your V22s. Let's see what's going on over in the chat and all the rest of it. Let's see what we've got. With a little bit of luck, I'll get that chat room back for you in a second. Here we go, we've got it, we've got Marjolaine. So people come in and people go out. So thank you everybody. We've got Simon Wilson, Sean Ferguson, Gary Williams. JR says the registration was 59, 14, 64, Sly Fox. And you should have seen the fox on the uh, nose art. Jane Chapman. Hello, Jane. Lovely to see you. Sneaky look in my coffee break. Hello, everyone. Jane, always good to see you. I hope you're having a great sunny day. I hope it's nice down there. Down, um, I think she's near Brighton Way, that part of the world. But um, wherever you are today in your coffee break, I hope you're having a fantastic day. And thank you for putting the message in there, Jane. It's always lovely to see you. We've also got Michaela, putting lots of messages in. So thank you, Michaela, it's always appreciated. Thank you. There's a fly at the moment who loves my um, phone. So it's took a shine to it. John McKenna says, hi. A few people are keeping their fingers crossed and everything else um, about that uh, big AN225 that might go to Bryce. But you've not heard it from me. So I don't want you to turn around saying, hey, it's not turned up. Hey, my boy, are you all right? Been for a cycle ride? Yeah, just been around the base, that's all. Full Good away. man. Beautiful day for it? Yeah. First day, really. <laughs> Set me A fever's playing me up. I beg your pardon? Set me A fever's playing me up. Is it? Yeah. You keep your set going, hey. Steve C, good morning, Stu and everyone watching from a very sunny Basingstoke. So, uh, yeah, a lot of the country, apart from way up there in Scotland, has got beautiful sunshine today. Lee, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, you're looking at Ospreys, that's okay. Um, Lee Williams says, hi, Stu, always working, says, hi, Julie, with a big wave. Simon Farr, did that um, KC135 pop a tyre on takeoff? Or did I miss something? No, I think it was all tickety-boo. It's not said anything on the um, radio comms. Because um, I've got a chap who's not too far away. And he, he's got a radio, so he would have uh, darted over and let me know. Well, if you have coffee breaks 24-7, uh, then John, hey, you better get some good tea and coffee. Don't forget, check out Stu Bear's sponsor the Kent and Sussex Tea and Coffee Company. I'll tell you, it's the best. And you also help Airshow World because it's absolutely free to watch Airshow World. Um, but um, it does help every time you buy tea and coffee from, Air, from the Kent and Sussex Tea and Coffee Company. It certainly helps Airshow World grow. And we give you something back as well. You can get 15 percent off right now and of course you need the voucher code when you buy your tea or coffee from them and that voucher code is airshow all uppercase one word a-i-r-s-h-o-w airshow it's as simple as that not just the first order all of them okay so check that out over a thousand different types of tea and coffee and you can help airshow world grow okay coming in 
on the approach one more time because uh, obviously yeah he's uh, he's staying out here instead of going out into the North Sea or wherever he was actually going he's staying with us so uh, we're able to bring you a bit of action but even better if the Ospreys would go up but uh, normally they start to go up in the uh, evening unless they're but you never know anyway let's go quiet see here enjoy Now, if you can hear those funny noises in the background, it's not me, it's my mate here. Sniffing, snorting, coughing it up, doing all sorts. And occasionally you'll hear um, funny squeaking noises from his brakes on his bike. <laughs> what are you like? He's got hay fever. That's, uh... <laughs> so it wasn't me. Said it wasn't you, Shaggy. No, it definitely wasn't me. <laughs> Did you hear that? See, it's not my stomach going, <laughs> it's, it's his brakes, he's got his bike. Come on, let's put him on, let's put him on. The there we go. So, the it's the suspension, is it? Yeah. That's, that's the excuse. Come on, tell everybody your name. Nobody knows my name. <laughs> Let them all know then. It's... It's me. It's me. I haven't got a lot of rim yam this time. Yeah, there he is. He had a... Last time he was on, it only just arrived. It was back in April. And um, he had a beer. And uh, it was a beautiful day as well, wasn't it? Yeah. It was fine, gorgeous. It? That was back in um, April. And he'd just been for a little bit of um, a ride round. And uh, he likes his motor racing. So does Julie that's in the uh, chat. Well, I do as well. But uh, Julie's a big motor racing fan, and uh, I think she's going to Snetterton. Is it Snetterton? I always get it wrong. No, it's Alton Park. She's going to Alton Park near um, Cheshire. Is it yeah. where that way? Yeah, yeah. And where where are you going? Brands Hatch. He's going to Brands Hatch, and I, I knew that. Yeah, because he's already told me. But um, it was there the week before. Right. I've got a spider. Get off, a muddy spider. Ooh, now that's, um, does that mean if you squash a muddy spider, does it still count? Does that mean you're going to get money or? <laughs> Probably not. Anyway, I don't think I squashed it. It just got flicked away. He was crawling through the, um, the wind gag. Get off, let's come back, get off. But if you're out in the sun today, I tell you what, my arms are starting to feel it a bit. So um, if you haven't already got a sun, uh, yeah, you could do with some um, bit of the old sunblock on today, I think. Ooh, we've got a bit more lager, I think. I, th I just heard somebody's um, radio coming to life and uh, somebody said there was um, another one heading towards the uh, English coast. So that's the next one. Oh, uh, Ah, clear to land. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty good. So you're going to get the other one fairly soon. I've not had chance today to look at 360 um, radar or any of the other ones, ADSB or whichever one you prefer. We've got aircraft. Aircraft. <laughs> I nearly did the posh bit then, didn't I? Aircraft. <laughs> We've got, um, let's get to the normal voice. We've got aircraft spotting TV. Enjoying the touch and goes. Oliver as well. John. Stephen. So the message is coming in thick and fast. Thank you, Colin Hill. 
Ooh. Colin Hill says, uh, hey, you can hear the cars, bikes, and racing and all the sort uh, from where he lives. Because he lives very close to Alton Park, as you know. Where I'm based, um, we're right next to um, Donington Park. And you hear those all the time, especially when I'm doing a live stream as well. And you'll probably hear those next week. Rory Aviation said there is an air ambulance going over Cambridge to Mildenhall. Ah, right, okay. Karen, hello, Karen. Lovely to see you. I like your icon. Looks like a, um, looks like a dolphin. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Like that. She says, hey, hey Stu, how are you? We're very good, thank you. I hope the sun's shining on you as well there, uh, Karen. And uh, lovely to see you in the chat room. John McKenna is with us. Colin Hill, we just mentioned him, near Alton Park. And at the end of the runway, just about to land on the approach. Any second we should see it. Here we go. Do you mind? It's not me making the noises. <laughs> he is suffering. You're suffering, my boy, aren't you? Yeah, I am today. There we go. Have a look at the nose art. And I think we saw that uh, particular KC135. We've seen it a couple of times over the last uh, week or so. So uh, it's always good to see that, especially when it taxis out going opposite weight, what it's doing at the moment, because you get a chance to see that rather nice uh, nose art on there. And there we go. Is it going to stay in the circuit? Let's find out right now.
Thank you for the messages there, uh, Karen. That's Karen Kakurin. She says, yes, do I love dolphins. Oh, and she also tells us it's dull in Cork at the moment. I take it that's um, Ireland, isn't it? Yeah, Cork Island, obviously. And uh, are you a native? Are you native to um, Ireland? I love the accent. So um, I'm sure she'll let us know. It's... Uh, Oh, the heat is. It's, uh, as I say, it's definitely not out of focus or anything. It's, uh, the heat is certainly making a big difference today, but I'm not complaining. But it will get better the more the sun keeps going around. And I'm pretty sure that was our quid that was uh, doing its training for this morning. Let's have a look what our good mate John Robinson says, Roma, double seven, one hundredth air refueling wing, KC135T, fifty-eight zero zero eight nine, has just had its mission delayed for twenty-four hours. This would have been uh, the tanker that was taking the Three Hill F-35s A's back to the USA from Lake and Heath. Nice one, John. Well, that tells you guys that. Um, if those 35s were supposed to go today, they're not going until tomorrow. Sounds like another maintenance issue with um, a tanker. So John, what happened? He knows, the man in the know. Where would, I tell you John, we really missed you um, when, while you were moving house, um, but he did try to pop in as often as he could. But of course, it's just a rumor. I hear a rumor, just like, a lot of people are talking about a 225 going to Bryce Norton, but um, hey, you've not heard it from me. But if it happens and you are down there, I hope it pops in to see you and you get to see it because I'm sure you'll absolutely love to see that. Got a beagle pup running around outside his window, Andrew Austin says. We're talking about um, aeroplanes here, <laughs> is it? Hey, Becky Davis, not Betty. No, not Betty Davis. No, not Betty Davis eyes. Um, Becky Davis says, how are you today? Mar Marjorie, or is that, should that be for Marjoline? I think it was for Marjoline. Yes, it was, of course it was. It was the, well, she was typing it, probably doing it from a phone, you know what the um, auto corrects like. Very embarrassing, dear oh dear. I've been caught out a few times with the um, auto correct. As, um, <laughs> Julie calls it stu speak. <laughs> because I'm as blind as a bat anyway, but um, when you're typing away, Sometimes, yeah. I mean, I've not got big fingers, but the keyboard's small. But then you see the kids, and they're just bum, 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 fast as... They type so fast, I just can't do it. So lots of messages uh, that have been coming in today, and I really appreciate all the messages. And um, there he is, Rory. Aviation, thank you for your input. It's much appreciated. We've got Tommy, Tommy Mummery, and the, the look like big drones. They look like big drones. I take it we're referring to those um, Ospreys. Some of them have got the uh, props folded up, folded down, all sorts. Before we actually uh, close the stream on this uh, morning show, I will just check with you guys to see if um, on your virtual radar servers, if there's anything else actually uh, popping in. So uh, let me know that before we actually go. <laughs> just flew it in stew speak, absolutely. Always be careful if you've got a friend and you're gonna meet him at six o'clock. That's what I normally say. Be careful, it may <laughs> If it was Stu speak, it would probably um, say something like, I'll see you for, yeah, you can imagine. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to say that word. Um, Stu um, was up 
and at Cork Airport on Sunday. This is Karen telling us this and um, only to Aer Lingus. I'm hoping the flights will start up again soon. So do I. Be um, good for you to see some aircraft there. Uh, blue 61 over the top at uh, St Andrews. Yep, is that the one that took off the where we started the show from earlier today? What I'm going to do in just a moment for you because I think that was possibly the first aircraft that uh, took off this morning. So before I actually uh, love you and leave you and say thank you everybody for taking part today in the uh, chat room, I will be back a little bit later providing we get some more action. But um, we've mentioned the beautiful sunsets you get down here and I know some of you missed that at the early part of the show because um, a lot of people have uh, come back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick replay of those sunsets and in the dark from last night and we'll um, hopefully get that uh, first, uh, what was it, The um, when I first went live? Blue, that's right, it was a KC-10. So let's hit this for the moment and uh, I will pop back in about um, five minutes to say thank you to everybody. Check if there's anything else coming in. If there's not, we'll go offline We'll go and get some lunch, get a cup of tea, and um, give you a chance to pop over to the Kent and Sussex Tea and Coffee Company. Get your tea and coffee ordered. You'll help Airshow World grow, okay? 15% off with that voucher code, Airshow. Here we go, right now. Let's have a look at last night for anybody that's late joining. Here we go.
and we're back. Hey, we're back with you live. And uh, you just saw that KC-10 taking off. But do you want to see a KC-10 taking off in real time live? Well, that's what we're going to see in just a moment. Um, you can probably see taxiing towards the uh, end of the runway. That will be taking off very, very, very soon. But, um, so can you hear that? Now, if you've got your flight radars, you can see exactly what that is because buzzing around at about 18,000 feet above us, there's a typhoon going round and round. Look at that heat haze. That's <laughs> it's certainly tough. But the aircraft is a long way away at the moment, right at the other end of the runway. But it is a monster. And uh, I think you'll certainly enjoy this uh, takeoff. So, hey, it was just as well we stayed with you and you had chance to see what we we're up to um, last night. Don't worry, it was all good. It was all in perfectly good taste. And um, you saw that beautiful uh, sunset. And I finished off with the um, KC-10 taking off. So the first one of, uh, and I think the call signs are all clean. Was it clean 6-2 this morning? And uh, I'm sure you guys know the call sign of this particular one because no doubt it's showing on your virtual radar servers. It's um, at the end of the runway. Well, actually, it's at the end of the taxiway. It'll line up in just a few moments. Now then, let's have a look back over here and uh, see, because we can hear a little bit of noise. But the, uh, no doubt, the APU is starting to go. Or as Julie was saying, are they, um, are they dust bins? No, they're not. They're not wheelie bins. So if you, Trevor, right, he's suffering, man. It's, <laughs> that is not me, honestly. Hey, well, you'd know, because it'd be louder. But he's, um, yeah, he's been, been for, been for a bike ride and uh, the uh, pollen is uh, certainly getting to him a little bit. Um, I'm lucky, it doesn't bother me. I, c I, can, I can roll around in the grass, in the hay, you name it, and it doesn't, doesn't bother me at all. You know, I'm, I'm okay with that. But, uh, not that I don't roll around in the hay very often. That was clean, that was clean. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I always keep it clean. <laughs> I tell you, when I was um, when I, when I was a kid, I used to go over to this farm, and uh, oh, I tell you, the was nothing better than just lying in the um, haystacks. Oh, it was brilliant. Probably they wouldn't let you anymore, you know, too much health and safety. Um, but uh, back in um, back in the uh, nineteen. Uh, 1990s when I was a, a youngster um, you know I'd be there and just chilling out and what have you and uh, brilliant lovely really warm as well very very very, very warm but uh, yes I don't recommend you do that though you know I, I was actually um, uh, friends with uh, the owner so that's why I was then I used to help out and <laughs> It was mad. I tell you, go back. Yeah, health and safety and all the rest of it. You see, people ride horses and things like that. I've ridden a cow. You put Billy, that was his name. Not the cow. The cow wasn't Billy. And uh, put me on the cow. <laughs> so I can say I've ridden a cow. But, uh, where do we get it from? I don't know. So I'm just reminiscing, just telling you a few things while we're filling in a bit of time, while um, we wait for um, that KC-10 to taxi onto the uh, runway. Hopefully it won't be too long because uh, you don't hear any more silly stories from the bear. Or you might, I don't know. But hey, you can put a message into the chat room. You can tell us what, as uh, long as it's clean and um, you know, respectful. You could t tell us what you used to get up to when you was uh, a little bit younger. Or we might have youngsters in now, but uh, yes, you certainly have to be um, 
everything's very very health and safety nowadays in those days I don't think we'd even heard of health and safety I seem to remember there was one occasion you, um, silage you know what I'm talking about you know the um, around about April time we used to have a machine that used to collect the grass and what have you it used to go into a a, <laughs> a um, what would you call it something at the back um, it'll come to me in a minute we were in there <laughs> I, I remember also what were other crazy things um, we used to do fruit picking down at um, a place called Tip Tree in Essex and to get you to the uh, field where we were doing the fruit picking um, used to go there used to be a tractor with a big trailer and uh, you'd be sat on the trailer they'd used to take you to whereabouts you were doing the fruit picking say it was about five miles away whatever and uh, you'd be all there on the trailer with your feet hanging over the edge you know wheels going round at about um, whatever speed they went 20 miles an hour 15 whatever it was Can you imagine that nowadays but, um, I'm sure they don't do that anymore but when I was a kid it was fantastic and I don't think many kids fell off and um, <laughs> no I don't think anybody did but great memories and great summers it's all coming back to me now Speedbird1, he says, KC10, just vibing. Let's have a look. Keezy, hello Keezy. Good afternoon. See, I was nearly caught me out. It's afternoon here now. It's approaching 10 past 12. As I do my best high pitch voice just then. Michaela Marshall, <laughs> can't tell you on here what I did when I was younger. <laughs> it's a family show. It is a family show, isn't it? Absolutely. That's it, you see. Especially at the moment. Uh, because uh, I never know if the kids are at school or not, but uh, he could be watching this on a replay or it goes out all over the world. But of course, it's a family show and uh, I'm very pleased it is. Clive Everly, but hey, Michaela, would still love to know what you got up to. <laughs> Julie saying something to fast as funk. What is that? Ah, probably something to do with old vehicles or motor racing or something. Here we go. I found his message. Got a couple of Sierra RS500 Cosworths for me or TVR. TVR. This weekend depends on the weather. He's not got a gazebo to keep him dry, in other words. Hey, the weather's going to be fine. It's not going to be like it was last weekend. Is it? They can't be. Well, we had it more than the weekend. It was, uh, what, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And Monday was pretty rubbish as well. Uh, and Tuesday wasn't much to write. <laughs> yeah, nearly seven days of rubbish. Uh, it's beautiful today though and I hope it stays with you but if you're up north a northerner you had beautiful weather so Julie just kept on telling me all the time I don't know how long that KC-10 is going to be. I'll just keep it there just a few more minutes while I have a bit of a laugh with you guys and girls, ladies, children, whoever you are in the chat room. And then I'll, um, while we're waiting, I'll probably just uh, show you something else that I've got up my sleeve, okay, on the video camera. Thank you, Colin Hill. He was telling us about, you could hear the sound of it, that uh, 
typhoon which was uh, buzzing around high altitude William um, Coke he's in the chat room what have we got always working all right um, Laura tell Laura I love her she's in the uh, chat room anybody else to say hi I probably missed everybody and I do apologize Clive Everly Daisy Bells Greg Mottram behave yourself put put your hand out put your hand out right now Julie slap wrists did she tell me she had lovely weather at the weekend oh boy there was a right grumpy bear that was me on uh, Friday right. that's it I'm going I've had enough <laughs> this weather's awful but um, the weather was awful as well on Saturday but we had lots of flying which made up for it Right, that's enough silly banter from me for a short while and uh, looking at the heat haze of that KC-10 which is uh, not moving at the moment even though it was cleared to go. Hmm, very strange. What we'll do, we'll have a quick um, replay while I um, have a quick lie down in the hay and... <laughs> catch you in a moment okay stay with us stay with the bear and air show world i'll be back live with you in a couple of mo's forget that skip that one it's just been cleared <sighs> you believe you said i did that on purpose you know i did that full build up to be able to do a replay we'll see you later and uh, no doubt probably the control tower guy down there is going hey quick stu's going offline or showing a replay let's um <laughs> Let's take off. As you can see, it's a long way, way down the other end of the runway. I keep, actually, I've got a brain like a sieve. I can't remember the length of this uh, runway. Is it, is it 10,000, whatever? You could probably tell by the uh, marker boards. Let's have a look, see if I can see one. Anyway, hey, I'm sure somebody will put it into the uh, chat room. But that's why it's looking, um, it's not out of focus or anything like that. You know what it is. It's the fact that it's uh, a lot of heat haze today. Anyway, we're lined up on the runway. Let's go nice and quiet so you can... Um, Hopefully, get to hear this. Take off and see it as well. Here we go. nice and that's probably from the aircraft 
because it's such a big... Sorry, we had a... How can I put this without sounding rude or, or anything? Um, yeah, I've, about two minutes after the aircraft took off, because we're really close, as you obviously noticed by how close I was zoomed in. Uh, we had a real massive blow. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, that cooled me down quite good. That was all right. Hey, they could do that all day on a hot, sunny day. Wonderful. As it starts to bank and uh, probably heading over Marum and then heading north. I'm not too sure where it's going, to be honest, but uh, your flight radars are your friend. They would let you know. I'm sure it would be uh, showing. In fact... Um, I'm pretty sure they show all the time. You don't have to have your military filters for, for those. Right, Speedbird1 says, greetings um, from Singapore, by the way. Wow, that's wonderful to have you watching all the way from Singapore. Must be getting pretty late in the um, evening or night time for you over there. Thank you for joining me and the rest of the gang on Airshow World. Um, Nigel Jade Williams. Well, that proves it's um, the bear is live, doesn't it? What a weird experience, he says. I live in Beckrow, less than um, what? Well, it's just around the corner, isn't it? Hey, eh? uh, so just probably what um, a mile away, something like that. Anyway, from the runway, and he can hear the KC10 through the open window while watching it on his laptop. So that lets you know it's absolute real time probably about 15 seconds so it depends on your speed of your internet how quickly it uh, deciphers the uh, whatever YouTube does but sometimes it's 30 seconds behind sometimes it's as quick as you know just a couple of seconds just all depends how the uh, your internet's running which also brings me to this um, little subject as well if you're watching this just um, make sure you've got the highest quality setting on okay because you should be getting this in full hd as you look at the screen if say if you're watching on a browser if you're looking at the screen over to the bottom right hand corner you'll see there's a cog icon you click on that and that then gives you the full 1080p sometimes it defaults to something silly the lowest possible setting because the browser an internet will go, oh, your internet speeds this, but this is what we'll give you. Even though I've got super fast broadband at home, it only gives me about, um, is it 460, the lowest? Make sure if you've got fast enough internet, you're on um, full high definition, 1080p, I believe it is. Mark Webber Webster, good afternoon to you there, Mark. Lovely to see you in the chat room as always. And we're going to have a quick check if there's anything else about if not the bear is going to um, take a rest and uh, have a cup of coconut tea don't forget check it out it's the bear sponsor right now you know where it is it's in this video right now there's a hyper there's a link there click on it it'll take you to the Kenton Sussex tea and coffee company and you can order tea with 50 percent off we've got um, older some older and wiser I merely wondered what the filming he does he might have filmed a collapsed undercarriage or something I tell you what I did get one time there um, the uh, older and wiser and uh, I featured this uh, a couple of times on uh, some of the shows. You'd have to go. In fact, I think if you go to Airshow World and you type in IL76 um, tyre blow, Fairford, something like that, you will see it. But anyway, uh, there was a IL76 taking off on departure day at Fairford. I can't remember the year, but it was taking off, going down the runway, and uh, they were all doing real fancy lifts and takeoffs because. They want to put on a bit of a show when they're actually departing and it the word was that they lifted the gear just too soon and that burst a tire and you see it, you saw it go boof 
and what have you. And we had that actual feature explained to us by our very good, uh, our pilot that uh, pops along on Airshow World uh, sometimes, and that's um, Chris Brady. And he, at the time, he explained a little bit more information about that. And he went into full details about what happens when wheels are actually retracted into the uh, fuselage and what he was saying was on airliners nowadays what they do when they retract the gear is like a brake and it stops the wheels straight away and you've probably been to a little airfield at some time and you've seen the little airplanes and uh, they've took off and the wheels are still spinning but on the airliner before they actually go inside the, the fuselage there's a um, brake and it stops them and that's obviously to stop any damage on the inside. And uh, why do we know that? Because Chris, pilot Chris Brady, he told us all about it on uh, one of our Friday night live shows. And we hope to get Chris back again um, in the very, very near future. And uh, yes, we hope to get um, Back to where I was. Hope to get Jerry. Oops. <laughs> Not Jerry. Somebody just mentioned Jerry a minute ago. That's my mate who um down in London. Chris Brady. We hope to get Chris Brady back with us at some point. But uh, yeah, yes, of course. I was just um think yes, because I was thinking about um Jerry. I'm just wondering if he's going to um Bryce Norton at all, because uh, I know he's uh, a bit of a follow, obviously, Big Jet TV. You don't get anything bigger than the AN225s. I'm wondering if he's popping over there today. That'd be uh, rather cool to see. So if he is, certainly um, support him and um, say hello. Uh, if you're a member of his um, channel and say, uh, Stu Bear sent his best wishes and hope he's uh, doing fine and uh, putting the suntan lotion on or whatever. Right, where were we? Eagle. Yep, it was. Eagle. Gosh, it's gone suddenly very quiet. So that means we were hanging on just a little bit to see if those Ospreys were going to, because um, it sounded like the APU was going, but it's gone deadly quiet. And that typhoon that was um, going around, the Eagle, as you spoke about, yeah, it was just doing circles above us, but too high to see. It was at 18,000 to 20,000 feet. But it sounded rather good. We could certainly hear it. Okay, gang, I'm going to say thank you very, very much for everybody for joining us on this uh, beautiful, beautiful Tuesday. As you see that rather jazzy car go by. And uh, we'll catch you later in the day. So thank you, everybody. Don't forget, if you're new to this sort of thing, subscribe. It's your world. Everything's free. Free as a bird, free, you bet your bottom dollar. And um, make sure the notifications are working, okay? Because you'll get a notification when the bear goes live. But for the moment, have yourself a fantastic uh, few hours, minutes, who knows? I could be back live in five minutes time. So make sure that all works. And get the tea ordered, okay? Get the kettle on, make a brew but only with the very best tea and coffee in the world. That is the Canton Sus Sussex Tea and Coffee Company. I have to be careful because I'm in Suffolk at the moment. Get it ordered. You can see the link. It's uh, under this video right now. I'll catch you later, okay? Thank you very, very much. Oh, thanks, J.D. Fisher. Appreciate it. Say hi. Stu says hi to him. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye for now.